हेलो एवरीवन ऑल ऑफ लाइफ एज वेल एज ऑफ द नॉन लिविंग वर्ल्ड इज मेड अप ऑफ एटम्स ऑफन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड इनटू लार्जर स्ट्रक्चर्स आर कॉल्ड मॉलिक्यूल्स सो टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस समथिंग मोर रिलेटेड टू दिस इन अ लेसन एटम्स एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स आर फर्स्ट सब टॉपिक इज लॉज ऑफ केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन फर्स्ट वन लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मास states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction this means that during a chemical reaction the sum of the masses of the reactants and products remain unchanged activity take some sodium sulfate solution in a conical flask and some barium chloride solution in an ignition tube hang the ignition tube in the flask by a thread and pot a cork on the flask find the mass of the flask on a balance then tilt the flask a chemical reaction takes place and sodium chloride and barium sulfate are formed then find the mass of the flask again it will be seen that the sum of the masses of the reactants and products remain unchanged law of constant proportions it states that in a chemical compound the elements are always present in a definite proportion by mass example water always contains two elements of hydrogen and oxygen combined together in the same ratio of 2 is to 16 or 1 is to 8 by mass if 9 g of water is decomposed we get 1 g of hydrogen and 8 g of oxygen Ammonia always contains two elements of nitrogen and hydrogen combined together in the same ratio of 14 is to 3 by mass. Dalton's atomic theory. Matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are indivisible and cannot be created or destroyed in a chemical reaction. Atoms of a given element are similar in mass and properties. Atoms of different elements have different masses and properties. Atoms combine in small whole number ratios to form compounds. In a given compound, the relative number and kind of atoms are constant. Atom An atom is the smallest particle of an element that may or may not exist independently and retain all its chemical properties. Atoms are very small in size and smaller than anything we can imagine or compare with. Atomic radius is measured in nanometers. 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 meter or 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 9 nanometer example the atomic radius of an atom of hydrogen is 10 raised to minus 10 meter the radius of a molecule of water is 10 raised to minus 9 meter symbols of atoms of different elements The symbols of elements are represented by letters. The symbols of some elements are represented by one letter and the symbols of some letters are represented by two letters. If the symbol has only one letter, it should be written as capital letter. And if the symbol has two letters, then the first letter should be capital letter and the second letter should be a small letter. observe the symbols of some common elements atomic mass since atoms are very small in size its mass is very small and determining its mass is very difficult so the mass of an atom is compared with the mass of a standard atom 
the atom which is considered as a standard atom for comparing the masses of other atoms is carbon 12 atom whose atomic mass is 12 u that is atomic mass unit one atomic mass unit is the mass of 1 upon 12th the mass of carbon 12 atom the atomic mass of an element is defined as the average mass of one atom of the element compared with 1 upon 12th the mass of a carbon 12 atom. Atomic masses of some of the elements are given below. Molecule A molecule is the smallest particle of an element or compound which exists independently and shows all the properties of that substance. A molecule is a group of two or more elements that are held together by attractive forces. Atoms of the same element or different elements can join together to form molecules. Molecule of Elements Molecule of an element contains atoms of the same element. Molecules of some elements contain only one atom and molecules of some elements contain two or more atoms. Atomicity of an element It is the number of atoms present in one molecule of the element. Observe the atomicity of some elements. Molecule of Compounds Molecule of a compound contains atoms of two or more different types of elements. Observe the molecules of some compounds. Ions Compounds containing metal and non-metal elements contain charged particles called ions. An ion is a charged particle having positive or negative charge. A positively charged ion is called cation and a negatively charged ion is called anion. Valency is the combination capacity of an element. Some common ions and their valences are shown below. Writing chemical formulae First step, write the symbols or formula of the elements or ions so that the symbol of the metal or positive ion is on the left and symbol or formula of the non-metal or negative ion is on the right. Second step, write the valences of the elements or ions below the elements or ions. Cross over the valences of the combining ions. Polyatomic ions should be enclosed in bracket before writing the formula. Look at the examples given below.
molecular mass or formula unit mass the molecular mass of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule of the substance molecular mass is expressed in atomic mass units u example molecular mass of water that is h2o atomic mass of hydrogen is equal to 1u atomic mass of oxygen is equal to 16u so the molecular mass of water is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 plus 10 is equal to 2 plus 16 is equal to 18u that is 18 atomic mass units molecular mass of nitric acid hno3 atomic mass of hydrogen is equal to 1 atomic mass unit atomic mass of nitrogen is equal to 14 atomic mass units and atomic mass of oxygen is equal to 16 atomic mass unit so the molecular mass of nitric acid that is hno3 is equal to 1 plus 14 plus 16 multiplied by 3 is equal to 1 plus 14 plus 48 is equal to 63 atomic mass units mole concept a mole of a substance is that amount of the substance which contains the same number of particles that are present in 12 gram of carbon 12 the number of particles present in 12 gram of carbon 12 is 6.022 multiplied by 10 raised to 23 this number is called Avogadro number or Avogadro constant. A mole represents two things. It represents a definite number of particles equal to 6.022 multiplied by 10 raised to 23. It represents a definite mass of a substance equal to the gram atomic mass of an element or the gram molecular mass of a compound. Gram atomic mass of an element is its atomic mass expressed in grams. Example, gram atomic mass of oxygen O2 is equal to 16 multiplied by 2 is equal to 32 gram. Gram molecular mass of a compound is its molecular mass expressed in grams. Example, gram molecular mass of water H2O is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 plus 16 is equal to 2 plus 16 is equal to 18 gram. So the relationship between the number of moles n, mass m, molar mass capital M, number of atoms or molecules capital N and Avogadro number NO. Mole is equal to mass upon molar mass mole is equal to number of atoms or molecules upon Avogadro number mass is equal to mole multiplied by number of atoms or molecules molar mass is equal to mass upon mole so this was all about our lesson atoms and molecules atoms and molecules makes up everything they are very important for cell processes in order to make energy etc. So knowing about it is very important. Thank you students.